I'll use this little inventory database that's on the O drive to show you how to create some queries. There are many examples of uh, queries on the web. If you do a Google or Bing search, there's many examples uh, of different criteria that you can use. Uh, I've done some queries already that you can look at. These are semi-complicated, because I've got a lot of tables in there, but they're not, not too bad, so you could look at those. I'm going to create a query, and there are many, many queries that you, that you could create. I could create one query, and then from that, create many more. Um, I suggest you don't use this query wizard. Do not use that. Go to query design. The query that I'm interested in is I want to find out what items are on an order. So I will uh, double click this items on an order and it shows up. And I'd also like the name of the item and I'd like the uh, supplier that provides that item. And the employee that provided the, uh, that created the order. So we've got items order, or, oh, I need, I need orders. So orders ties them all together. So it looks kind of complicated, but orders ties all these things together. So I want to know uh, what an order, what order is, what the order number is. I'd like to know the uh, name of the item, and I'd like to know the name of the supplier and the uh, name of the person that ordered that item and say the date the order was placed and one more I'll um, get the quantity and the price just double click and it pops up so there's a lot of things I might delete some or change some each one would be a different query when I run this then these are the items that I have on order. So on order number one, I've got these two items. So there's order number one, I've got these two items. Order number two, I've got uh, those two items. And apparently I was the person that ordered them and that was the order quantity. So that's a query and I could save this and I could call it uh, items on an order. And it's saying, hey, that's the same as a table. So it's a query. So there's a query, just that easy. Now I'll show you how to add a little pizzazz to it. Now over here, I want to figure out the price, the, the total price. So that's uh, quantity ordered times price per item. To do that, I suggest you use this little builder tool because you don't want to type in these things. So basically it's quantity ordered uh, times, sometimes they have a little uh, thing for you to select the, the operators down here, but I just pressed uh, times, price per item. So if you type that in, you might make a mistake. That's why I like just pointing and clicking. So that's an expression, a calculation. I'm gonna call this um, total price per item, give it a long name. And when I run this, uh, that's the price uh, of that order. Now if I was to create a you know, report from this, and I think I'll save this with a different name. This is uh, items on an order with price, items on an order uh, with pricing. So you could have many, many different queries. Uh, if I was to create a report from this, uh, you can either do a, a blank report, report design, or if you just click on this, this will give you a, a quick report. And it, the formatting is, is never very good on these quick reports, but I'll, I'm gonna show you quickly how to, how to change some of these things. What I like to do is fit it all on one page. So right now this is not fitting on one page. So I'm adjusting these things so that they do fit on one page. 
So I'm almost there. It's almost fitting on one page. So I'll have to change some of these. So now it fits on one page and it provides a, a total of price per item. Well, that's not very useful to me, so I'm just going to hit delete. Um, but I can uh, design. So I'm looking for the group and sort out view, the design. <clears throat> There's group and sort. I want to add a group. I'm going to group on uh, order ID, which is that thing there. And then I want to uh, subtotal. I want to have total on uh, total price per item. And I'm going to sum them up and put them as a subtotal there. And then this is a uh, currency format. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So that's a report that I could generate, and it's got some formatting problems. But that shows the uh, order total for the different items uh, for each order. So I hope that helps you with uh, your queries and uh, reports.